Okay guys, so today we're gonna be talking about microphones and I'm not gonna get super in depth with it, but I think I'm gonna give you guys a good like overall set of value um, when, it, when it comes to approaching microphones and then based off of the feedback that I get, we'll go into some of the pockets of some of the more unique questions that people have. I think microphones, especially in one of the genres that I represent, which is CHH, I think microphones are so slept on. I mean, when I look at the amount of guys that pay for music reviews, pay for advertisement, um, pay for music videos and graphics and things like that, we always overlook the most important thing, which is the music, which also includes your vocals. And I can't tell you how many people I know have invested well over a thousand dollars into a lot of the external services that are used to take the music to, to new audiences and they'll be recording on a hundred dollar mic. Now, from my experience, I've seen microphones go for as much as $10,000, but generally speaking, guys, most microphones kind of sit in a range. Entry level is going to be about $50 to $150, and I can tell you that most of what you'll find in this category is utter trash. Is it usable? Is it viable? Absolutely, but when you go down to the bottom tier of microphones, what really matters more than what mic am I choosing is the environment. What kind of soundproofing do I have? How's the acoustic vibe in my room? Um, where is there wind blowing? What's the shape of the room? What's my position of the microphone into the room? Um, what are additional things I need to look into such as foam or curtains or just mic positioning? How should I approach the mic? What's my distance? Uh, how should my distance be? What kind of a microphone is it? Is it darker? Is it brighter? Is it tinsier? Um, so in terms of what type of performer am I? Am I aggressive and all on the microphone and what might I need to do? to accompany uh, that microphone so that I get the best possible sound out of the microphone. That really matters the cheaper the microphone. And I can tell you from what I've observed is that most people have a microphone that's under $200 in the space that I exist in as far as my peers and things like that. And I'll never knock where somebody is at, but like I said earlier, there's too many people now who have gotten comfortable, okay, I have a microphone, I have an interface, I have a computer, I can record and I can mix in a DAW, okay, I don't need to address this again, as long as I can put my voice on a track. But then meanwhile, as they start to improve and get in front of more audience and stuff, they don't think back to, well, am I getting the best out of my sound? Am I making the best music I can possibly make? And so many people shortchange themselves in this category. Um, and and it's, it's apparent by the fact that they spend more money on a ton of other things and show that on their Instagram and on their YouTube pages and different things like that. And it's really sad to see because then I'll go and listen to these guys' music and the music will actually sound bad. Like it won't sound as professional as it could be from a simple mic upgrade or a simple investment into the room acoustics so that things can be better. Guys, this camera is a great uh, example of this. I have one, two, three, four, five, six lights on me right now to get this type of picture. If these lights weren't here, this camera would look so trash to the viewer. And the investment into these lights was less than $100. I mean, probably like 60 to 80 bucks for all the lights. And just that one little investment has now put my videos in a position to be able to look perfect all the time. I come in here, I turn the lights on, I turn the camera on, I hit record. I don't have to worry about anything in terms of giving the viewer a great visual aesthetic to go with the, the audio. And it's the same way with the music, guys. Some of you guys are just a mic upgrade or an acoustic change away from drastically impacting the sound quality of your music, which matters long term. There's a difference between getting your foot in the door and 
that foot in the door being a five, 10 year run of you just messing with low grade materials, but trying to get high level uh, results. And that really matters. But going back to the pricing of microphones, you typically have like a 50 to $150 range. You, it, it bleeds over, but then you kind of have like a hundred to $300 range. Once you kind of get from your like 150 to like $300 range, the quality goes up a bit in the condenser market, not as much in the dynamic uh, well, I guess in the dynamic world as well, you know, there's some sure microphones. Um, you don't quite get into the SM7 yet um, as far as price. Um, but there, there is a, a significant upgrade. But again, it's within a certain dollar amount that it's negligible. As long as you do your research, um, you, any microphone that you buy in that price point, it's going to be more about the room and what you have acoustically going on. Um, then you kind of have like your three to five, six hundred dollar range. And all those microphones to me are the same. The difference would just be in the tonal value. Um, and, and, and not only that, but there might be a microphone that has a better quality, a better build to it in that price range, but it doesn't pair well with the vocalist. That's the other uh, component to this that nobody ever talks about is like, you know, if, if you have a big burly guy who's a rapper and he's got a deep voice, you don't want to buy him a $100 audio technica mic he's going to destroy that thing with his audio and so mic pairing is really a big thing as well and then you have your stuff north of kind of the 500 hundred dollar range once you get past about a thousand dollars now we're talking about kind of professional studio microphones that are being used you know the neumanns and up the um I mean, there's there's a ton of microphone companies now, but once you're going over the thousand dollar price point, most people are dealing with more of the vintage microphones that have just kind of stood the test of time, and they're really trying to get a specific sound for a specific type of clientele, or is just a microphone they grew up in the studio with that they they dreamt about having in their studio. Again, any microphone price can produce a good sound, not a phenomenal sound but a good sound and other parameters will determine how good that sound is, such as the room, such as the mixing. Some people will go to spend a lot of money on the mixing, but then the rapping and the singing is recorded out of a hundred dollar mic. Scrap the song, spend the hundred dollars or two hundred dollars you would have spent on the mixing, buy a new microphone or buy some acoustics for your room so that the quality is so clean that the mix is going to be insane. A lot of you guys might find that the recordings become so good when you upgrade that you don't even need a mix engineer at that time. You can get by because your recordings are super clean. I was just talking to a client today on the phone and affirming the fact that, hey, I know you don't have an actual professional engineer doing your music, but you're doing a really good job because you can, you can do more than get your foot in the door because you have crystal clean recordings. And when you have crisp, crystal clear, clean, good signaled recordings, the sky's the limit. You can go experimental, you can go really um, conservative and just clean sounding song you can go anywhere with that because there's no hot signal there's no tonal changes that aren't natural they're they're more of a byproduct of bad bad um vo uh, bad vocal positioning or the room acoustics and things like that and then you have nasty sibilance and resonance um which is you know p bad frequencies poking out and giving your mic an artificial character um a lot of these things can happen um, but with this particular client, um, he had probably some cheaper gear, but because he had such clean recordings, the skies, the sky was the limit and to the average ear, no one would really notice. I want you guys to take a really close, actually, before I go into that and just kind of conclude the video, cause this is going to be one of the shorter videos. Um, one, a, a website that really changed my life. Um, because I used to be the guy that used to go into the guitar center. I'm wearing all the headphones. I'm trying all the mics. I really want to hear it for myself because the reviews never matched my scenario. They never helped me out. And I would make purchases that I really regretted, especially when I was tight on money. Um, but a site that really changed the game for me, if you go on Google, type audio test kitchen space microphones. Audio test kitchen microphones 
and you'll see a website pop up where you can literally search almost every microphone under south of the $5,000 price point and you can read the specs of the microphone. You can hear what the microphone sounds like with all kind of vocalists from rappers to singers, guitarists to beats to compositional people. You can listen to how, okay, what does the Neumann sound like uh, with an orchestra or with a rapper or with a singer. So you can kind of match your voice type to the microphone. You can see its price point. You can even do a microphone shootout where you listen to hundreds of microphones, grab all your favorite microphones, save them with a, you can sign up for free. You can save them to a mic locker and then A and B back and forth between each microphone you like to see the subtle character changes in it and look at the frequency chart and say, oh, okay, this guy sounds closer to my sound, or if I am interested in buying a new mic, here's the top three that I know I love the sound of. You can hear an in-studio, clean recording sound of these people. Now you have to remember, if you have a microphone that you love on that website and you go to buy it and then you put it in a crappy bedroom, it may sound a little bit different, but in terms of narrowing down this vast, you know, plethora of microphone choices that we have on the internet now, this site is a very good way to flush out ideas and listen to microphones and hear the difference between cheap and expensive and ultimately find a great pairing for you or find the next microphone you might upgrade to. You might list your microphone on Facebook Marketplace or on eBay or one of these musician sites and then know the know that the next microphone you get, you can move into it with more confidence. And I remember when I found that website, it just, oh, it blew my mind. I was like, Lord, why couldn't I have found this website sooner? It, it literally changed my life. I obsessed over it for like a month straight, just listening to all these different microphones and this microphone behind me that you see, you know, the Lord blessed me and, you know, I had a really great year a couple years back uh, and I was finally in a space to upgrade my gear. And matter of fact, I had this microphone for a majority of my life. This is the Groove to GT55 condenser microphone. I had this for like over 10 years. And this microphone, thankfully, when I got into the game, I spent $300 on this microphone. This was in the early 2000s. And that would have been an expensive mic purchase for like a garage band type of guy. Um, but I really cared about the music and I was like, you know what, let me just start, spend the $300. I, I know I probably don't have a studio, a, a, a microphone that's used in the studios, but I know that this will get me by because it's a great build and it's above the entry level microphones. And to this day, this microphone most of the music you guys have heard from me has come from this microphone. I haven't even released music that I've made yet with this microphone because I have so much back inventory of songs that I haven't released yet. You guys haven't won't even hear the quality of this microphone for probably another like six months um, is when I'll finally catch up to the stuff I've been recording on this. But I finally, um, I think I had like a dynamic microphone, something like this that you guys see me talking on now, which by the way, you guys probably think this microphone's a really clean sound as well. Um, and this is just a $20 dynamic microphone that I did a lot of research on and found that this is a rare older microphone that can produce a stellar sound for like talk radio type of stuff. But yeah, I had this $300 mic for over 10 years. The great thing about audio equipment is if you get pretty good quality, it'll last a lifetime. Your interface will, will generally last you 10, 20 years, if not longer. Um, your microphone will last you forever. Um, and yeah, like I was saying before, the Lord blessed me. I had a year where I was just doing really well and it was time for me to upgrade. So I upgraded a lot of equipment in my studio and eventually went on to this bad boy, which cost me about eight, nine hundred dollars and this was a microphone I did a ton of research on, on Audio Test Kitchen. So by the time I got this thing, I knew the sound of it. And I was running it, I'm running it now through some analog gear to just really um, get the character of the microphone exactly where I personally want it as far as my sound, depending on what type of record I'm going for, whether it's a pop track, a boom bap, a trap, you know, things like that. But I will not throw this microphone away. In fact, I don't even think I can sell it because... It's just a favorite go-to microphone of mine, and um, and it got it stood the test of time, even in really harsh um, 
environments. Uh, I did not have the best acoustics. I had no understanding of the room and the positioning of the mic and what's on your walls and what furniture you have and stuff like that. But this microphone has just been such a phenomenal uh, FET microphone and uh, it'll go down as one of the greats. Um, and I might bust this out on some future projects because it has a particular sound that I'm just so familiar with. But nonetheless, I had this microphone for probably 10 to 15 years before I uh, upgraded. But the only reason I upgraded is because I really knew what this produced. I knew what to expect. Don't upgrade your equipment not knowing what to expect. Shoot, even if you have to, run into your local studio um, you know, pay the money, go into a studio and, you know, whether it's 50 bucks for the hour or hundred bucks for the hour, call a studio, say, Hey, what's your mic locker look like? And see all the microphones that they have. And if they have microphones that you're interested in trying at one of these bigger studios, book the hour session, go in there and just swap the microphones out. Keep using all the top microphones and just record one take of you doing like a 16 bar verse with all the different mics and tell the engineer, hey, label this Neumann, you know, label this Audio Technica, you know, label this um, Behringer or whatever, you know, and, um, and narrow the microphones down so that you know what these microphones sound like. Um, there's so many ways to have a better informed decision, but the bottom of the line is for this video is that, guys, some of you need to look at how much money is going into the actual sound of your music versus the exposure and the aesthetic of the music. At the end of the day, what people hear is the first impression. And it's the most important impression. I don't care if I came across your Instagram, the moment the song comes on, I'm making my entire judgment about whether I'm gonna keep and follow and playlist that artist. And there's nothing worse than having a talented artist that you feel like each song you listen to from them, you're like, gosh, I love the artist, but the sound just sucks. And I just, I can't even bear listening to them and then going to some professional music because it just sounds so off and music can very quickly ruin an experience. And so that's why I got into the engineering space to try and help artists in an average setup kind of find their way to upgrade through knowledge and through mixing and um, through advocating for certain, you know, um, things. So I hope that served you well. If you guys have any questions about microphones, uh, sound off in the comments or DM me. I would love to answer them. Hey, maybe your question might be the next video I do on microphones. All right, hope you guys have a blessed night. Talk to you soon.